good afternoon again to those who, uh, who are here. Uh, this is meant to be a follow-up meeting on uh, last week's presentation. And by follow-up, uh, as I was saying earlier, we wanna make sure that if anything is up or if, if anything has popped up in, in your mind over the, hall, the, the, the long week, the weekend, sorry, uh, after the dust has settled and you've tried to make sense of all that was said and the very text heavy and word heavy and, so this is really to just look into it once more. But before we go there, I want to uh, show you how to, uh, how to look around in our website for our history resources. And I want to introduce you to a, a very important person on my team, my history team. So... Um, First off, Mr. Alex Prince, you can wave. Hello, hello, Alex. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, Alex is one of, of, of my uh, very important people in, uh, in this, this year's um, venture into the new program. Alex has worked very, very hard last year to prepare resources so that we have something on our website to help teachers uh, navigate uh, all of the, 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 the knowns and the unknowns of, uh, of the upcoming program. And he's working with me this year to make sure that to update all of that. And also he's started working on maps from scratch or almost. He hasn't started dr drawing the province, but it's almost that. And he is, uh, he's building brand new maps to help uh, to assist for this new program. We also have Emily, uh, who is from Rissi, who's with us today, uh, and is also very important with history because she can help me find digital tools, digital resources, um, maps, uh, document files. I mean, she's, she's just super duper at what she does. So very helpful in that respect as well. Um, Vanessa Boilly is my colleague working with me uh, on the history presentations. She is from Ikipshuk Pedagogical uh, First Nation and Inuit. She's not with us this afternoon. She is away from her desk and computer for the week. Uh, but I, uh, I also wanted to acknowledge her because she is helping me and we're, we're pretty much working together uh, when, when this is concerned. We were given the same mandate. At Likipshuk, our mandate is to guide and accompany. So whether it's uh, First Nation or Inuit or myself on the side of uh, the Anglophone community, we assist, we help, we, um, we accompany in the implementation development, presentation sometimes, or just you know getting better acquainted with the program or the evaluation tools. We can also help in building evaluation tools, um, and we can make um, working groups. I can arrange from, for working groups. I can help with that. Alex will also be able to help, uh, to help out uh, in some respect, of course, uh, but he does teach. So, uh, but as, in as much as he can, he will, be, he will be there to assist me, of course. But Likip Shuk is pretty much uh, there to help you and, um, to, um, to assist you. I want to show my screen so that I can guide you through our website. So I'm going to just show screen one. I will look like I'm not looking at you because my screen is one inch above my main screen. So bear with me and I'm sorry about that, if that's the case. So uh, follow up to the December 2nd. So presentation of partners, did that. The mandate, done. Um, Alex, yeah. can you take a few minutes to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm... Um, yeah, actually, you have a minute, so... Okay, I'm, I'm a teacher at, for English Montreal School Board that did, I'm teaching today, actually tonight, uh, um, at High School of Montreal. So, uh, uh, and I teach history, and I've been working with... Uh, uh, it's, I, I'm on my second project with Ikip Shuk and uh, we're working on the new, uh, the new material the new, uh, for the new program. So, mm -hmm. 
Yes, we I'll be are happy to present it to, to you. <laughs> In, in this, uh, yeah. yeah, as much as we can, we can't wait to uh, to be able to present it. Emily, everybody knows Emily. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say hi, nonetheless? Uh, sure, yeah. So my name is Emily Bowles. I'm a member of the Recy team, um, along with uh, Joanna Salvaggio, Abby Spector, and Mark Garieppi, if you've heard of those names before. And I, uh, my dossier is Project RISE, so helping teachers create digital resources um, for the new curriculums like history. Yay! <laughs> so um, thank you very much for, uh, for, for introducing yourself. So I wanted to show you our uh, website because there are a lot of resources on there that are very useful and that you can navigate through uh, as the history teacher. So this is the ageresource.ca, ageresources, sorry, .ca website. And this is the Kipchak pedagogical website. And on there, we have a few different uh, clickable uh, areas. Uh, the first one I wanted to show you uh, was the workshop section. In the workshop section, you'll find all the après cours links. You'll find, because uh, I'm not alone at Le in L'Equipe Choc Pedagogical. So you will also see everything that my uh, my colleague Micheline Amar is doing in science and math. But there are sections that are especially made for the so social science uh, community. So don't worry, you have your <clears throat> own place. And you have here les après cours also. Uh, you can visit the après cours, uh website and see everything that is available and that is out there for us. We also have a newsletter. We have a monthly newsletter on there. You can subscribe directly right here. It's very simple. And we're just about to, uh, to publish our December uh, newsletter. In there, lots of different types of information. And you also have the ones archived from last year right here at the bottom. And going into our resources, you'll notice that everything that is that exists as far as our mandate is concerned is listed there. So if we go to the history tab, you will see the beautiful, beautiful work that was done last year. Um, by uh, Alex. And if you look, you'll notice that the breakdown is the same as the four courses that we have presented last week. So you have uh, HSG 4101, 4102, and then the HST 4103 and 4104. And if you open, let's say open this first one, you will see, I will open the Let's say uh, course. Actually, maybe here. Which I, one do you want me to open, Alex? Actually, I, I, I have a new version. Maybe I should you do? show the new version. And you can show it. OK. And I will let, I will let Alex show you uh, what that consists of. OK, no problem, Alex. You can share your screen. I'll stop sharing mine. Originally, uh, these spreadsheets were made to evaluate what we had that corresponded to the new program. Uh, I made a new version now that will be um, really for use because the first, uh, at first I had defined really journeys as the, the, the book we would be using, but I, what I, the changes I, late, I made lately is I just put journeys as one of the multiple resources that we can use. So if you look, you see, we have the two competencies and uh, last week, it was mentioned that uh, the uh, uh, journeys was accepted, but not the ideal resource. And we can see here that for the second competency, uh, it, journeys is not so, um, so well uh, equipped. Now, this spreadsheet, it was mentioned by many um, that you need to, uh, it's, w there, there could be a way that they are made easier, uh, I tried to make them easier to understand, but how we will organize them is on the website, you see each of these parts of the course. So you see, this is the origins to 1608. That's the first part of the first course. 
the first course is divided in two parts. So each, you have a series of sub, uh, sub content here, and each also uh, have learning objectives or subject uh, content uh, specific. So I checked for every uh, uh, subject specific content, uh, the pages, you will have them with journeys, but also if you look further on the table, now I, I'm, I'm putting extra resources uh, that the, the teachers can go to until eventually there could be another, um, there could be another book that would be available. As an example, if a teacher wants to use journeys, well, he has the pages there, we could put also another reference like uh, the uh, book from Chenelier, uh, which I forgot the name. It's another uh, uh, option that they a... have in the youth sector. It's, sorry? Oh, yeah. Repas. Repas. Thank you. So, Repas. so the, uh, so I, I put also some really, uh, uh, we have, there's a series of three books, like the one from Sofad that was used, the one from Brian Maddock, uh, the one, the old one from CEC, and um, I, I will, I didn't finish the, this part, but the pages uh, that we used to have in these books that connect with the new course will be there. And of course, there's going to be in, for these books, there's going to be a lot of red spots because these books didn't cover uh, the, the, um, all the material from the new program. That's why we have to change them. So, mm -hmm. so the uh, also there is another part that is based is for historical figures, and uh, down there you have all the, uh, the 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 links there described uh, for the different uh, courses. Uh, if you take some time and look at it, you will understand the whole system there. Yeah. But um, I, I think it will be easier when on the website you actually if you have each course and for each subject content you're going to have a link directly that will lead you to the appropriate uh, uh, internet uh, link. Uh, so you already have a lot of uh, material there that you can uh, and also that you can use and and it also shows the places that are missing in the older courses. I mean, mm -hmm. I still, many uh, just abandoned the book from um, Brian Maddock. And you know what, the, for the exams, Brian, that we are still using now, uh, Brian Maddock's book is still very good. Uh, we just put uh, some, I would say a few extra um, documents for the last part of the course. And it still corresponds to the exams we are giving uh, as of today. Uh, mm -hmm. For the, the next course, the, the, the new program, uh, there's so much missing from this book. It's going to be impossible to use it. Okay, so yeah. there's a lot of new things that were introduced. And um, so that's yeah. about that. So the other project, so this will be reorganized. Instead of on the website going to a link, you're going to have directly uh, this, uh, we could say this table on the website uh, that explains it all. And so Just another- before you, be, before you go on, now um, all of this new material and all of this new method of organizing the, uh, the resources will not be done overnight because that involves A, Alex putting everything back into a different format, and then us uh, asking our programmer to, um, to work on this. And this is not necessarily something that's going to happen overnight. So I invite you to get acquainted with the, the, the spreadsheet, uh, the spreadsheets that you have in front of, of you and navigate them and, and click on the links so that you can get used to them. Because for now, that's what we're going to use. And whatever is not on there, for example, um, maybe uh, learning learning situations or <clears throat> pretests or whatever. We're putting stuff together. Don't worry, and we will have working groups as well uh, and, to organize and, a few things. And, and I think on the on the the part that is uh, referring to uh, the older books that we used to use, we could really point out the new things. As, as an example, one thing that is was not in the courses uh, in, in any course before is uh, 
the native networks, uh, trading networks. Uh, so this is one thing that is uh, new and uh, uh, is something that teachers never taught before if they've been teaching the, the old program for mm -hmm. 10, 15 years and they, <laughs> they will have to recycle themselves. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be bit. one thing. And there are many topics. So I, I would like also to point these out uh, to help the teachers in the process. Mm -hmm. And so I would like to show also another project. We wanted yep. to have uh, many maps available last year uh, to have. We thought that by using um, a, a secured area um, that we would be able to give access to teachers to a lot of content exclusively for teaching. But um, this unfortunately is not possible because Kipchak is sharing with many school board and you're not allowed when you when we're talking about the 10% sharing for teachers use we're not allowed to go through many institutions. So we need to have authentic material, uh, original material. And uh, so we so I made maps uh, that are now blank and now working on the different parts of the course to put up historical content there. I just want to show you one example of what you uh, of what you're going to have here. You guys all see that? Yep. Yep. So so you see this is so what I took is uh, I mean teaching for years. I mean we know that the. the the what is uh, the the rooting of uh, the rooting of uh, Jacques Cartier? But we remade maps. These maps would be used. I mean, they will belong, of course, to Equipe Shock. I, I made them, so you're not allowed to make money with them. But the teachers will be allowed to use them as they want, modify them, take parts of them, and we won't have any form of restriction uh, on what we do with them. And that's the goal there. So uh, but they will all be credited to you because you're the ones putting them together. But it's very generous of you to, uh, to let teachers but, use them. But uh, the goal, of course, is to give tools that the teachers can do yeah. whatever they want with. Uh, that's, uh, and that was the problem before, because the only way we could have maps, we could have material was by putting links and that we have to reach the website. And sometimes the website is not organized when we when you give a class, sometimes the website is not organized exactly the way you want the definition of the map. So all these maps also have a very high definition. We're talking something that <laughs> full screen, it won't fit. <coughs> so uh, you, you, the teachers will have some to to reduce these maps, and they're made really with a very high definition, so that uh, they can be used very for just about anything. Yeah. And very user friendly as so well. I just wanted to show that so so many uh will accumulate of course uh, creating the the back frame uh, of these map uh, took some time um there are other models with more colors also but uh, uh it will you know also i will give the option if teachers i i made them all with gimp so how these maps are made are with layers so each of the things that you see here is a layer this can be modified if a teacher says, oh, could I have one, a green one instead or something? So uh, I wouldn't share my all of my work on GIMP there. But if, the, the, if any request is made to change the color, remove some things, I can pick the layer that has that, remove it, and, uh, and give it to the teacher, no problem. Okay. So, Thank you very much, Alex. Very mm -hmm. nice, very nice work. And again, this is going to be uh, updated. I mean, the maps are going to accumulate. We have a few in store. Alex is working very hard uh, on that. We'll put and some new maps also, if, if someone to use to make their own. Uh, so I'm mm -hmm. going to have different models, uh, different size for uh, mute maps. Good. So all of that will be added on to our website so that they can become uh, so that they can become useful for you. Uh, so as I said, and as Alex was saying earlier, there are some issues with, you know, navigating maps or, or, or spreadsheets. I, for one, don't find it always easy, but you have to just sit there and take a look, take a few minutes. Don't do it in, in if you're in a rush between uh, 
to appointments, but take a few minutes to really look. And they're not so, they look complicated because not everybody is super well versed in Excel or for the, but they are really uh, not, they're pretty user friendly and they do link, the links pre, are pretty, pretty fast and so on. So there, there's a lot there that you can start working with for sure. And Alex is working at up, uh, upgrading everything. Um, as far as this is concerned. Now, if we go back to uh, what we had on the agenda for today, I wanted to make sure that everybody was able to ask questions if you do have questions regarding the presentation we did last week. And by that, I meant the questions that you may have about the content or about the, uh, the evaluation uh, part of it. Um, of course, we can't answer any ministry related questions because we are not uh, speaking on behalf of the ministry. Um, as I was explaining last week, we are presenting because we were mandated in adapting and transposing, if you will, the subject and all the content into uh, an English version for the English and the, the FNI communities. That's what we did. And that's why the ministry was with us last week, because they were the ones that could answer the questions that related to uh, the actual ministry related issues that some people may have. And that's it. So we wanted to take a look at the a follow up on, on that particular uh, presentation, because it did go fast. It was very uh, word and content heavy. And I had warned and apologized in advance because there was so much that we were absolutely, uh, we were insisting on presenting you and we had two hours to present it. So yes, it was quite a lot. Now, after today, you can always uh, write or, or um, refer to, go to the website or write me specifically and even ask for a team meeting if you want, uh, or a Zoom meeting where we can talk a little bit more about what's going on and what's going to be uh, in the upcoming uh, months. We're hoping that everything is going to remain the same and that things are going to be ready for uh, August. Now, after the new year, so when we get back to, we, we come back to work in January, um, Alex and I will put together uh, at least one other après coup where we will be a little bit focused more on the, uh, on the history program, the new history program and what we can do to help people along and preparing for it. Uh, as I said, today was mainly to look at the follow-up, but also to offer uh, the services that Likip Shuk can, uh, can provide, that I can provide as far as history is concerned. And those are pretty simple. It's accompanying or assisting you in either the uh, appropriation of the program. So getting the program internalized and, and uh, all the changes that, that have been made. Uh, I can help you with that. We can do uh, short meetings with a number of people. We can do one-on-one -on -one meetings on team also. Uh, I can also go out and meet a team, let's say in, uh, in a center uh, or, or for a uh, school board at some point, we can also, also do that. Those are all possibilities. And as well with the preparation of material that you may want to put together to, uh, to go with what's going to be used officially by your centers, because some centers have material that they do buy and that are uh, that is being used, whether it's SOFAD or uh, what's out there that has been approved by the ministry. Same thing with evaluation. The evaluation is very different. As you, as you could see last week, when we talked about the criteria that we have for the evaluation of each competency and the, oper the intellectual operations and all of that together may have gone by fast last week. So that can also be taken one step at a time and we can look at it even in a one-on-one -on -one format if, uh, if you, um, if you need to, okay? Um, so uh, Emily's gonna talk to you guys about the uh, Moodle history course uh, that is uh, out there. So Emily? Yes, okay. Oh, it's so really um, on the French side, um, there's a group of people who are part of their larger Resti network that I'm a part of, 
who deal specifically with formation distance, so like distance education. And they have been working super hard to create this like fabulous Moodle history course. Um, so it's for the youth sector curriculum. Um, I'm going to show it to you because I would like to hear from you if that's something that you are interested in, um, like if we looked into translating it and adapting it for adult ed, it would be a big job. Um, so to give but a little it, bit it more be, context. It is worthwhile. If, if it's something you guys need, we can definitely uh, help you along with that as well. Yeah, so to give a little bit more context to this as well, um, we have a platform that is called Moodle FJA, so Formation Générale des Adultes. It's um, a platform offered by the RECI where any board, um, anybody at any board can come and um, develop a course on this platform if they want to use Moodle with their students, um, but their own school board doesn't have the capability to host a Moodle server. Um, so Moodle is just another learning management system like um, uh, Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom. It's just like, it allows for, I would say like more customization perhaps than those two other platforms. It's offered on Moodle. It is like really snazzy looking. So we have, um, let's say I want to, this is the first, the landing page. Yes, thank you, that's fine. So let's say I want to look at the first, um, the first period of the first course. So 1840 to 1896, when they're forming the Régime Fédéral Canadien. Here are all of the different elements that are part of this course. So if I click on this first one here, for example, it's like a, a reading um, activity. So there's a question, a guiding question that is starting off of the unit and then it breaks it down. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is this. The next thing you're gonna do is this. The third thing you're gonna do is this. And students are asked to kind of formulate a little hypothesis. What do you think the impact of industrialization is gonna be on the economy and territory in like this part of history in the early, the second half of the 19th century. What do you think happened? So students are asked to kind of do, do that little hook bit and then they jump in. They have a little video um, to watch. And then this very cool thing that they've developed in Moodle, um, which is this like digital notebook that students are going to be That's using nice. throughout the online course to write, um, write in their thoughts, write in their answers. So it shows kind of the, the table of table material, the table of contents that students are going to be looking through, all the different elements that they're going to be looking through within that. Um, I noticed that there were uh, formative evaluations also. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So there is lots of uh, opportunity to do that. So let's check out one of those. So it says before you start this formative evaluation, you need to consult the uh, documentary document package. So here's mm -hmm. an example of what they've got in the document package. So here's a document from the McCord Museum. So document six, uh, sorry, that's document, one of the documents there is that image. And it's got some different um, uh, textual excerpts for us to take a look at. We've got some graphs. We've got some maps. different maps that have been created. Um, so there's all these different documents that the students have to look at. Good, okay. And then you so have some different, different yeah, then you've got some different questions to answer. I can't see them right now because I did not log in properly. To but, it, but it's okay that not everything is out there. I mean, they need to be protected somehow and that's perfectly yeah. fine. Uh, it's the same for our pretests. Uh, any pretest that is on our website is password protected, uh, but it's easy uh, for your consultant or uh, for even for me, if you need my help to help you along there too. Mm -hmm. So they've got like, they've developed, it looks really nice. It's very complete. They worked with a large team to develop this course. 
I think it could be something that's really interesting, especially as an option for our centers where, um, you know, we can't do stand-up teaching of history so for our individualized teachers, having something like this that's kind of ready to go, that is still customizable though, but is otherwise ready to go could be really interesting. And I also, I think it could be useful also if you don't have, let's say you have a very small group of students and you don't have material, your, your center cannot purchase material, uh, you don't have the, the, the super spiffy new uh, textbooks. And so that can be a, a very interesting tool. So again, yeah. Emily and myself, we can help you with that. Uh, all we need is to know what you need us to do and we need to look into it with you. And whatever we, whatever I can do anyways, I will do uh, with you for sure. If I don't have the answer, I will do my best to find someone who does or someone who can uh, get you there. Uh, if it's digital, it's very likely that I'm going to call upon uh, Emily's, uh, Emily's expertise. But as you can see uh, with Alex also on, on the team, there's lots of, of things that can be done. And if the material is not up like and ready super quickly, we can still accompany you in putting together things for your own classroom or your own online teaching. And that's absolutely uh, possible as well. For sure, uh, translating these uh, exercises, I, I think they're, they're very good. Maybe adapting them a little bit uh, mm -hmm. so that the, it, for adult ed, we need to, uh, we're more into andragogy. So the, the students have a bigger experience. We need to maybe bring them to participate more, bring their own personal experience in the activity. Yeah, but uh, it's in the approach, I think for really. most translating will be, will be yeah. good. And it could be on our list on the things we want to uh, we want to put together, yes. As Marie-Hélène from the ministry told us last week also, anything that has been uh, approved by the ministry for the youth sector courses can be used as is. Uh, of course, you can just pick and choose from that material. The list was sent to you. Just give me a thumbs up if you received the list. It was a document from the ministry giving you every single document didactic material that is available and approved uh, ministry approved so that's also something that you can look into of course most of it is in french but uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, books have been translated by uh, publishing houses and if not as i said earlier we can always help in uh, putting things together with you and for you okay um Emily, questions? Sorry. Oh, oh, so you're responding to, uh, are you responding to Agnes's uh, comment or question? Yes, I, I was, okay. wasn't Perfect. sure because there, there are other courses that were there when I yes. was initially showing my you're screen. Right. So you're talking you're about right. the history course, Agnes? Yeah, that's what we would want to translate. Perfect. Uh, Bonnie, your hand um, was up first and then you removed yes. it, but I know you're yeah, first. Yeah, well, I, have a, I just had a question. You. Yeah. It's incredible, eh, the work that you've all done. It blows my mind. Alex, all that work you did last year and the work you're doing now and the team, everybody, it's it's very impressive and we thank you. you know, on behalf of AJEC and everybody in the, in the crew, um, my question though is that site you just showed us with that Moodle in French, what is the scope of putting that in English? Because you put that in English, you basically created like an, an enormous wealth of just click, I got it. Here's my activity for, and I'm thinking about the centers like my own who doesn't, we don't have a history specialist. We have a teacher who lost a lost an arm wrestle and has to teach history, right? So- we, I'm so sorry to Marie. <laughs> right? <laughs> she drew the short straw, the poor woman, but now yeah, I'm saying- Yeah, when I left. And she's like, I guess I'm going to be suckered into doing this again next year, but it's, it, and it's not, it's not fair to, to anyone, but it is the reality of a lot of our centers that we don't have history mm -hmm. specialists. So how doable is it to create that wealth of artifacts and activities in English? It's, it would be a big job. I'm not going to lie, but it's, who would do it? Would you do it? I can't answer sure. that question because it hasn't been, it hasn't been, uh, you know, a, an actual consideration. But if it does become something that is, uh, 
that is a, uh, a request, then we can definitely look into it, look into it the, the, the three of us or the two of us together and then see if we need to ask for any permission or, you know, we can look into that for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, because for now, said, we it was created by a huge team. <laughs> so Exactly. You know, we, that, exactly. Yeah. we translate into the English sector is, yeah, we got one person working on it. And huge team, huge team, we do not have. Exactly. Awesome team, we do, yes. but huge, Definitely we not. don't. Uh, yeah, I, so that's why just, we can't promise sorry. anything. Yes, Michelle, yes, um, yes. Uh, I found a long time ago, and I was trying, I don't know if I can share it, but I, it was um, History of Quebec and Canada Resource Center that had given and done something like that. And that was the only thing that allowed me to survive with my students. They could click on it. It was modules, there was subtests, and then there's a final end test. And uh, it was, was done it by the school Lester board B. Pearson site, uh, Michelle. I think it was I, Lester. I, I think so. If I can, if I can type and put the paste in there. I don't know if that's gonna work. No, it won't let me do it. Yeah, that was um, the Lester B. Pearson site that they had created that, that goes was, with the course, but it was great. Yeah, my students mm -hmm. were still using it to help us get yep. through the, the 4016 and 4017. So exactly. you showing us the Moodle thing, so to me is almost exactly like it, only hyped up on steroids and much, much better with the <laughs> graphics. And, and everything and yeah that would be like you know how you've got you pulled straws to be able to that teacher had to teach history well i'm like a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of that because i also teach english and computers and and uh, i i really don't have time to to like i appreciate everything you guys done even the table looks like it would be great help in the maps but mm -hmm. like that one place go for and to send your students there Absolutely. and then just reinforce it so yep. yeah and, and and as far as that is concerned, since we can't promise a date on you know having a new a new way of presenting the resources, so far you still have access to those uh, to those uh, spreadsheets. They are open. They're available for anybody. So if the link, if you have the link, you can open them and 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 you know uh, browse through them. As for putting something else together, I am. I'm taking that down. I mean, I'm writing this down and we're, Emily and I will talk definitely uh, to look at what, what can be done and what the, the amount of work that that would create. And if there's even uh, opportunities for, uh, for, for requests on our end, so we can, we can look at that. Definitely, we'll talk about it. We have a meeting coming up soon, so yeah. I don't. The two I don't of us mind. Meet once a month, so I could help with proofreading. I couldn't put anything together, but I could definitely help with proofreading or editing if that can help with anything. That would be great. So that yeah. is, that could become a working group in itself. You know, a little yeah. working group. And that and was my, my next question, actually. Yeah, and my students did love that that format for us. It worked really good. And uh, because mm -hmm. we're in between COVID and are we at school? Mm -hmm. Are we distance education? It allows them to 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 bring the two together. So I appreciate exactly. the, that. And it Thank must you. alleviate a lot of stress also on yes. their end, so that they're able to do the work on their on their own, and that they're not lost in translation of all this hybrid or fully online or because that's that's a lot to handle as well for them uh, especially with uh, everything that is part of a, a, you know a, a, an adult learner profile is not the same as uh, a youth sector uh, profile yeah. so this is this is a lot of things to consider and uh, definitely uh, your your input is very 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 welcome here because your reality helps us prepare uh, material that works for you guys and that works for and not just for the big the big centers okay also for the people that are outside of the big centers and and Micheline and I when we started in uh, in uh, July when I was hired for Likip Shuk our main concern was to reach out and network uh, as far as we can and that's why we keep inviting people in uh, the other day we had people from the carceral we have and we're sharing we're a bigger team than just the two of us for sure because we cooperate with so many people uh, so the team is not huge but it definitely is effective and it is awesome so I'm writing this down I am definitely going to look into this not everything is feasible but we have to ask and we have to look into it and before we look into anything, we can't promise, but we can't just dis discard any idea. Uh, I always, I never make promises I can't keep, 
but I do promise to look into uh, means and ways to make sure that your life is made easier. That's absolutely for sure. That's my job. That's what I'm supposed to do here. That's what I'm uh, mandated to do at Likip Shah. So even if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I do not mind at all. Uh, some teams like you, Michelle, you're a team, you know, in, in and of yourself, huh? you're a mm -hmm. team of teachers all in one. So uh, that to me is not a problem. One-on-one, -on -one, we can, and then I also take care of English and, uh, you know, all of the languages. So we can do whatever you need. We can do it. We can sit down I, at I, least and talk about it. That's, that's great. Sure. I, I do net, network with Deb, Deborah Medill, Madrill mm -hmm. up north too. And then yep. I found the French teachers that are in our area are struggling and they are bilingual and they land up hooking in with some of our sessions too. So we could reach a few people there, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure. And I did read your, uh, I did read all the feedback forms from the other day and I read your, uh, your comment and thank you for it because this keeps me on my toes and it keeps me aware of what, uh, of what you need, right? Because it's easy to go, okay, oh, say bold new program is coming out. We'll just do a, no, sometimes we need more and we need, we need to dive into a little deeper and take a, a longer time to get things done and get things, uh, get, get acquainted with what's coming up. So please do not, uh, do not hesitate and let us know. Yeah, just in terms of the course before we jump into working groups, which is my favorite thing. Um, <laughs> the like, even if we didn't take, um, you know, everything that's in that course, we could create, so create our own Moodle course um, that does look as fancy. It may not be as involved as that one. So it's like we have something to work with and then we can, you know, add to it as we go. But the other thing that I did want to mention, um, is that Allo Puff has like tons of great resources for history. And they, we have told them they are working on translation. They did ask recently, um, you know, what can we do for you, the English community? Is there anything you need? We're like, just translate. Everything you got there is great. Please just translate it. Our teachers would love to have access to this stuff. Um, so it's got like, it reminds me, um, Michelle of that Lester B. Pearson review site in that it has like all the topics that students would need and sort of like um, study sheet type things. So no pretests per se, but like an excellent place for students to go and review. So I'm sure like as soon as it's translated, we'll let you know. Definitely. Um, there's also the, uh, I keep looking for the, uh, the exact wording, but la société, uh, société d'enseignant, what is it again? How is it worded exactly? It's a, a group of teachers. You have stuff from Learn and, you know, so many resources on there. What is it called? Is that again? the Communauté d'Histoire? Communauté, very good. Got it. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, yeah, looks like that. He's going to find it first. There it is. Communauté d'Histoire du Canada. And it's it is in French the the um, the portail itself the platform is in, in French but as you go in you'll have uh, you know you you can do searches and you can uh, refine your search and look for English material and you'll have a whole lot of of material there uh, that's also very very interesting to um, very interesting to look into you can find lots of documents maps. Uh, uh, some in French, some in English, of course. Uh, so all of those resources, yeah. we can get to you. And uh, we can put them all in a document. As you can see, they're easy to click. So some of them are links, others are pictures, others are maps, and they each have a different icon. So you can look at it, you can do a, a search on your own. Uh, you have documents. It's really, really awesome. Thank you very much, Richard, for putting Hello. it in the chat. Some things are coming from Learn uh, and are also awesome. So everything that is out there, you can just click on and save in your favorites on your computer, what's in the chat. Uh, if you find anything, you can send me uh, you can send me a shout and tell me what you found that was also awesome whatever I find on my end or Emily or Alex, we're going to make sure to make 
to, that you get access to that as well. Uh, and please don't hesitate again. I'm repeating myself, but it's so important that you do reach out so we can really help out. And if we have to, we can go and visit in person once we can. Uh, and we can sit together and work, you know, on projects together also. So um, that's that would be it for me. I know it's we still have five minutes, but I want to make sure that we don't go uh, that we don't go uh, over the hour the one hour time limit that we had set out. So any questions? The PDF version of the presentation is coming up. Huh? We're working on it. Uh, we're finishing things up, making sure that all the editing is done. We're going to then send it to linguistic revision because that's part of the way that we work. We have linguistic revision. Once all of that is done, we're going to send you uh, the PowerPoint in PDF form in your to your emails, but it will also be available on the Apricot, uh, in the APRECO resources in the social sciences. So you can click and find it let's say let's give ourselves another week or so and we should have uh, everything set for you to look into and have i added a few things to the social studies padlet as well excellent that's another thing that we have very good i'm gonna take two minutes if you don't mind because i forgot and thank you emily for reminding me um so i'll share my screen once again to the um the akip shock uh, sector in the resource okay we have history that is built a different, but we also have social sciences. And in this one, we have contemporary world, financial education and regional geography for those who offer the courses. Now, each of the courses has the same basic uh, set of tabs, except for the history one that's constructed differently. But you can use this here, the teacher contribution tab, where if you click on it, you'll notice, you'll find yourself on a Padlet. And as you can see, I did put the History Sec 4 and History Sec 3 on the same Padlet as I have for Financial Education, Geography, and Contemporary World. The reason is that this is, the, this is where it's the easiest to put it because of the history being built differently. When it's when it's time and, and you know it's refreshed and revamped, then we will have a Padlet on there as well. But you can use this one for anything that you want to add yourself. You just click on the plus sign and you navigate. It's really user-friendly. Uh, but also take a look once in a while and you may find uh, different things to do in History Sec 3, History Sec 4. Emily has put uh, something here in the History Sec 4. I also put in material, Alex may find something awesome to put in as well. So don't just look into the, um, the history tab, but also the social science tab right at the bottom right here, okay? Anything with the website that you need me to repeat or go over? All good? Excellent. Um, of course, this is always a little short. Uh, we would like to be able to sit for hours and talk about everything uh, in much more detail. But I wanted to make sure that we could go over what we had done last week and that there were no uh, questions left or anything that was not clear. So as far as I'm done, as I am uh, concerned, I am done with all my messages and all my information. I'm gonna give Emily and Alex one last time to uh, go over something that I may have forgotten or that they may wanna say. Alex, anything before we leave? Well, uh, well, thank you uh, for uh, Judy for uh, that uh, uh, feedback and uh, we'll, uh, I mean, uh, if any requests are made for, you know, if uh, some teachers explore the program and say, oh, you know, I, I wasn't able to find any tools for that part. The, the, you know, there could be uh, uh, demands there on the what exact, you know, exact specific content and we can work on it. Um, Absolutely. Now that we have all the tools, but uh, I will also make the, the, the maps available so if students, if uh, teachers want to uh, develop maps for 
specific uh, subject content, it, it will be possible to use these maps. Uh, I mean, free of rights. So Perfect. Thank you so much again for all of that. So anything new will be sent to you. Don't, do not worry. Uh, as soon as we have documents from the ministry, you will know. As soon as the uh, DED is available, you will know. We keep, uh, we, keep we keep tabs on that and we are very, very, very keen on finding out. So as soon as it's available, you will find out. We will tell you everything there is to tell you. All the news will be provided for you. Don't worry. So thank you for coming. We hope to see you again and we hope to be able to help you uh, in your navigation of the new history program. And we may see you next uh, in January for the financial education presentation, which is on the 12th of January. So Thank have you. a wonderful weekend. Thank you, everybody. Thanks so much. Thank Jeff. you very much. Thank bye, you. Bonnie. Bye, John. Thank you very bye, much. Bye, everybody. Thank Happy you. holidays, Thank you, everyone. Partners. Thank you. Bye-bye.